has hell. <laughs> hell no. We in this bitch high as hell. We, we cool as hell. All right, welcome to the High as Hell podcast. High as Hell the podcast. High as Hell the podcast. I'm here with Polo, Polo G. Polo, my brother. Well, the topic of today is the fact that none of this is going to be here one day. I don't know if y'all are aware, but this whole, like, this planet, one day it won't be here because... Like in, what do they say? It's probably millions of years ahead, but the fact that humans won't even be here, like you know that even before like the sun ends up expanding, because that's what's gonna happen. Exactly. They saying like the sun is the gonna sun expand. Gonna explode too. You got some water, bro, I'm not dry. Mm-hmm. Like, humans won't be here one day. Like, you feel me? You see how we are pretty much the dominant, like, species right now. But it was a time where we what we weren't here. Like, there's a time before us, so you know it's a time after us. Right. Feel me? The dinosaurs was here. They was pretty much dominant ones. They not here no more. You feel me? Just like how your life in humans, period, is gonna end. Like, this is just the era for the humans. But then it's like, what is there after that though? Like this universe is still gonna be here. You ain't got no humans that's observing it. So you know it gotta be some other life that's around because all of this, this reality don't revolve around just humans. Just us. Like it don't revolve around y'all because exactly. you just a little speck in the big picture. Y'all can't tell me that like, like humans is the reason that the universe does what the universe does. Like it gotta be something else that you got something going on out there, bro. It's like when they try to put a cap on whatever this reality is, bro. They revolving it around this earth, the rules on it. But it's like, bro, it's so crazy out there when you really find out how big the solar system is. It's like, <clears throat> it's been generations and whole life stands of life, hundreds of years of life that's passed already. And yeah. humans don't, you think nobody knows about that. That's forgotten, you think, that's a forgotten era in life. Yeah. And we gonna be a forgotten era right. though. Cause you feel me, when we not here no more, it ain't gonna be no like proof of our existence. That's why it's like, when you really think about how like irrelevant certain situations be in life, like, bro, you worried about somebody's opinion, but all of this is not even gonna matter or be here one day. So somebody's opinion is the last thing you need to be worried about. That's just like me doing this right now. Somebody will think like, boy, he ain't gonna be able to do this. He ain't gonna be able to do that. But why would I let that affect me when you live not gonna same. be here one day? Like, just, just do your thing, bro. Cause <coughs> when you look at it like that, you might be like, dang, we don't even matter. So I'm just not gonna do nothing. Right. Like, but it's like, you know that you here. You don't know why you here. You don't know how long you gonna be here. So just do you while you're here, bro. Cause you know it's not forever. So you ain't gonna like, you feel me? I don't know. I feel like, especially with, with caring about people, what people think of shit right now. And, and I don't really care about what people, you, you living the same life I'm living, bro. Like, regardless of money, fame, anything, bro. Anything, like, you, you are limited. It. You can't take that with you. What's left when you, when you go? It's just the impact and you feel me? It's the impact. Kind of be flashy and all that. Like, you can do that. You feel me? You can feel yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But just know, like, that's not the ultimate goal for your existence is to flex or flaunt your money or whatever. If you really think that money and material things can outweigh like actual life situations that you witnessed, like you can't pay me no amount of money to live the life that I live. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna stunt you. I live the great life. You can't pay me no amount of money to live this life. And everybody, it's a journey anyway. You feel me? You can come up the next day, you can blow up the next day. 
and you live your own existence. Just be you, bro. Exactly. You can only be yourself. Girl, people be worried about the people like, like, okay, me worried about them, like I'm doing this for them. Yeah. But you're not. At the end of the day, you're going to sleep in your own bed. You can wake up with your own problems. And you still got to worry about your own life. You feel me? That's why I don't hold no celebrity on like no high pedestal. Just a regular person. Like all the scandalous stuff and then people overhype it because it's them. Like they worry about it because it's them. But it's like, what does that mean? Like they don't know me, but I'm so invested in their relationship or something like that. Like I'm holding somebody in a higher regard. Right. Like we don't even know why we here. Like you just a little speck. And the, like in the grand scheme, you just a little speck. I'm not gonna be here forever. Ain't nobody better than nobody. Everything is in sync, bro. Nobody is better than anybody else, bro. The fact that none of this is gonna be here one day, it just make you see everything different. Yeah. Like, dang, bro. I mean, I don't know why I'm here, but while I'm here, I'm gonna just, just do me, bro. One person's opinion should not hold you back. So look, I got a question, because I was just thinking about this the other night. <clears throat> so, you a believer in like, Everything happened for a reason. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, but I also believe it in like, everything. This whole life is a script. Do you think life is a script? Yes, bro. Because I'm like, life is just your perception. Like the future, think about it. Cause you don't know it, but everything that happened a specific way, the way it played out, it's written in stone because it happened. Like the simple fact that it went out, it went this way. That way. The fact that it went this way instead of going that way. Right. Certain things end up happening in your life because of past things. Yeah. So you just, someone might be convenient, someone might be bad. Like, dang, I did this, and then the result in that, and then that resulted in this. It's just a chain effect. But I feel like it's already written, bro. And you just got to get to that part. It's like a movie. Like, if you're watching a movie, you start from the beginning, the end is already set. You feel me? Whatever is going to happen at the end of that movie, it's going to happen regardless. Even if you this your first time watching it. You feel like so you was meant like to do this Your life is just boom. I definitely do. Because it's happening now. Like This is crazy. I feel like, like wall break. You know what wall break is in the movie? I feel wall break. If I had to never met her in like freshman year of high school, yeah. we wouldn't even be sitting here right now. Right. You feel me? Like that's that's how deep life is to be like I'd be thinking about shit like that. Like something way back then is making an effect right now in the life that I'm living right now. Right. And that shit happened so so long ago. And this is totally different. Like this is a totally different scene, totally different situation, event, all that. Like what? How? How is that possible? It's just like me starting that writing program. It was an after school matters program. Like, the only reason I ended up doing that is because, like, I could have graduated early. My junior year, I could have graduated. Right. But, remember, I was always ditching, bro. Like, all four years, I was always ditching. Like, my junior year, Last two months, I did not go. Don't know why I messed it up for myself. I'm like, yeah, I could have been out of this school early. And I was going to Chatham. You know, I hated that school. Like, I just felt like, bro, I do not belong here. But if I didn't go my senior year, my, that certain teacher that ended up getting me in that program wouldn't have even been there. Because she came my senior year. So I'm like, you feel me? I was making money doing something I wanted to do. And I'm like, that would have never got the opportunity if I didn't, like, stay and then not graduate junior year. Still know people that I was going to that program with to this. It's, it's written. It's written, bro. That's why, like, you should never stress even when you're going through something, oh, bro. Bad, because it's just a story, bro. It's when you're you watching a movie, you do certain bad things, and then you know about it, and everything is going to work out how it's supposed to. Like, as far as the plot. So you live in your own plot. So just go through it, regardless of what's happening. Don't let it affect you too much you feel me obviously it's gonna affect you in a moment you can't be like yeah. fully numb to it but just remember in the end like okay something's gonna happen something's gonna work out like you done been through rough times but 
that not only made you stronger, you feel me? Like, I ain't gonna like, stunt. You gotta go through it to learn your morals, bro. Like, all the morals that you learn, it's through all the bad things that happen and show you how to move out here. Like, if certain bad things is happening to me, so I, it can prepare me for the future, and who to hang around because I'm gonna already be experienced. You just getting experience points, bro. It's just like a video game. <laughs> No, that's like I feel like the shit that you go through, bro. It's it, it, like you said, it do be it be hurting at that time, at that point in time, dude. But it's it's only gonna make you stronger, bro. Like all them people that ain't been through shit in life, like all the people that ain't did nothing, they ain't had no struggles, no no. They ain't been through no democracy, none of that. Like, they ain't really had no hard times in life. I, f I really feel for them, because me, I'm believing the world going to end in like a, a big ass tragedy. Like, it's going to be a big ass one. Everybody fighting, like, you know, like the stab on the head. Nah, for real. Like, I feel like it's just going to be all chaos, bro. Like, all chaos, dude. And. You feel me, my homies, that, you feel me, the people that I know they've been through stuff in life, that have rough times in life, they, you feel me, like, they gonna be alright, cause they gonna, like, they strong enough, they tough, they ain't been through that shit, like, they tough enough, yeah. but, but Bill and Bob, <laughs> you feel me, like, <laughs> Sarah and them, they've been, out, out, they not gonna, look, they, they is not gonna get nowhere with their little <laughs> butter knife, and they, <laughs> wait, they salad fork. They have to get the salad for it because it's the biggest one. Like, they ain't gonna make it nowhere, bro. Like, I'm not saying nothing, I wish no man for nobody, but it's it's like, you're not prepared. If you're not prepared for it, then it's really gonna be that much harder to actually make it through. And there's gonna be a lot to make it through. It'll be the time that, like, if it, like, the hard times actually gotta come up for them because they used to, like, just being good. You know, ain't nothing too crazy happening. And if it do happen, like, it ain't as common as it is for other people like us. Yeah, like, we in Chicago in the hood, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You gotta face your fears, bro. <laughs> like, that's cliche, but it is true, though. I was real shy as a kid, like, real shy. So when I was able to give a speech, because I saw the teacher, a different teacher, she ended up giving me this little card, and they was talking about how they was having a topic on like, it was like why all lives matter. Yeah. Pretty much, why all lives matter. And the winner was gonna get like what? A, it was a thousand dollars, I think, bro. Yes, bro, it was a thousand dollars for the winner. So I'm like, dang. Mind you, I never gave a speech before, so I'm like, dang. But I definitely wanted to speak on that topic though. Even though I'm overly shy, I'm like, dang, bro. But with this opportunity, I'm like, I ain't even win the Kato, you feel me? I ain't yeah, winning, but I got my point across. I got some cheers. <laughs> I got some it was cheers. decent. Okay. I feel like I got my point across. Okay. I'm getting practice, you feel me? Thousand dollars, but it's like dang. I kinda went through something like that in my like happy years and stuff. Like I, I used to have this real bad stuttering problem, bro. Like no lie, no joke. I used to stutter, I used to say, uh I like real life, bro. I I, I be like, I I I, I be I, I like real talk. Like that's how it sound. Like, I, but my teacher, I think it was my my sixth grade teacher or something like that. We had like a uh, we had we was in the auditorium presentation, I guess on on motherfucking the Black History, and we all had different people in black history that we had to give a speech on. Make our own type of biography on their ass or whatever. Yeah. Like, you feel me? What we got from what they life, what we knew about their life and shit. And it was so many people in that auditorium, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I ain't expected because I'm living in a, you feel me? Like, I'm living in Chicago in the South Side. And I ain't thinking it, that's a, it's gonna be a bunch of people. Like, all these pianists finish up. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. man, Half these niggas don't even know they plans. So it's, it's really good though. I come from behind the counter. I be behind the curtain, get ready to say my speech about uh, Malcolm X. <laughs> Bro, there's so many people. Be like every sea field, people standing in the aisles. There's people out the back door. Like I'm like. 
I was just stuck. So I sat there and uh, I started talking and just everything just started flowing. The words just started flowing. And no lie, after that, like, I ain't never had no stuttering problem. Like, not a serious you had a breakthrough. Um, bro, like, a real <laughs> life breakthrough. Like, just from being, like, scared to the brink of, like, this is it. Like, ain't no turning back. It's either you go yeah. or, or go home. I don't know. <laughs> go how to go home. See, I can't go home. My pants right there. <laughs> Yeah, it's so good. It just man, I did other stuff in my life. Like I did poetry, poetry events. I did music events. I'm sitting here doing this podcast with you. Like <laughs> all that, that all the way back there. Yeah. You feel me? Brought me to a place where you feel me? I'm able to easily talk and openly talk to people and not be scared or you feel me? Like express myself without being worried about what you're thinking about me. Like. That's really what it was. It wasn't that I couldn't speak. Like, it wasn't that my words would stop. No, it was because I was scared of what the other people would think. You feel me? It just be all in your head. So, yes. it's like, the only thing that'll hold you back, bro, like, your own mind, overthinking. Oh, but then when you realize, like, how small certain situations is, even if it is a big moment, it's like, dang, this is one part, bro. Just one little incident in life. Like, if you, if you live it right now, Think about it. No matter what hard situations or tough situations you've been through, you've overlived it. You've made it through. Like you made it to today. You feel me? Like the hardest thing. Like think about it. The day that you was like, man, this is the worst day of my life. You passed that. You feel me? Like I know everybody that had one of them moments in 2020. What? Yeah. You're past it. You're here. When you ain't past it. We do it. I don't know. 2020, we got a couple more days. Man. You feel me? Anything can happen, though. Anything can happen, but, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Hmm. Uh, yeah, fuck with my best friend. You feel me? I'm messing with my best friend. We can start this, um, this edible company, I guess. We can start an edible business. Hopefully, we can get in tune with Trey and, you know, yeah, make bro. something happen. If we start with campaign, I'm on some recent info.